I wouldn't breed to that pup. Breeding little dogs. One of the worst dogs that you could possibly put into your program is the pug. Because the pug is so noticeable. And what I mean by noticeable, what, what I mean by noticeable to little dogs is it messes up their little paws. It messes up their little paws. They are not able to have straight feet. And another thing about them, is you see that tail right there that he's got? It's a nice little whip tail, you know, barely even curls one time, barely. Well, when you put that pug into your program, that tail that you're looking at right there, that tail might curl three times. Like, three times on that dog. And one thing about it is I don't want no tail on my dog that literally curls three times. I like the tail that you see on my dog right now. How my dog walks, he prances like he's supposed to. He, he's a nice prancing dog. See that? See how he prances? Feet straight. Happy as can be. Ears. They, when you give him... When you give them that uh, look from a pug, ain't no telling what kind of ears you might get. I mean, I've seen some ears that one ear stand up, the other ear just fall straight down. I mean, I've seen some ears that were horrible. And it came from breeding from the pug. I mean, the pug is supposed to be bred with the pug. Do not take your Chipin dog, your Menchie line dog, and go and breed that dog with a pug. That would be one of the worst breedings you could possibly ever have done. Another reason that I don't think I would breed with the pug is because the pug will give your dog a horrible underbite I mean horrible when you look at the dog in the face watch this nature see his face nature nature see his face he has a nice face teeth are in his mouth they are in his mouth those teeth are in his mouth and that's what you want his teeth on a dog that remain in his mouth. That underbite where the dog's teeth just comes out his mouth. Oh man. That's horrible. That is just horrible. Like, like that dog has to eat a piece of chicken. That dog has to eat dog food. That dog may even have to catch prey. Because, you know... Just because they're smaller don't mean that they're not catch dogs. These are catch dogs. Catch a lot of things. I mean, it, at the right time, they might even catch a bird. They might even catch a bird. You know, they could crouch down on their bellies and that bird might not see him. Especially nature because he's so black. Might not see him. And they be crawling up to that bird. And right before that bird get ready to take off, they jump up and just spring in action on that bird. And catch that bird right before he get ready to take off. You know, like squirrels. That squirrel better have some wheels. Because <laughs> if, if one of these dogs get on him, more than likely, they'll catch him. You know, this is a pro prodigy of uh, the Italian Greyhound. He got Italian Greyhound in his blood. 
you know he got a uh, he got some short hair dachshund in his blood this dog do you know this dog right here got the miniature pincher in his blood you know he's prone he's prone to digging this dog is he'll dig on something he'll get on something don't think he won't just because they small you don't think they catch dogs okay yeah they catch dogs somewhere down off in his lines probably got some terrier off in his bloodline you know I'm telling you man dog was put together very well very very well this is the reason why I would never ever 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 breed to a pug no I would never take one of nature's offsprings and breed it to a pug Trust me when I tell you, man. You want to see a dog that's going to come out dysfunctional? And, you know, I like all dogs. And excuse me when I say the dog may be, possibly be ugly. You know, excuse me for saying that. But truth be told, the dog could possibly be ugly. You know, the dog may not, the dog may not have nice features. Like I said, that underbite. Oh, man. Oh man, that underbite, that underbite is horrible, very, very horrible, and uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't risk breeding a dog like that, because I wouldn't want my dogs to have them features, I'd actually want my dogs to be able to walk, you know, like you walking right now. Be able to walk like you're walking right now. And if it, if, it, if it came down to it, he'd be able to run. You know? He can run right now. That's why I got this chain on him. And I try to keep a little muscle on him. You know, he's a little dog. So I try to keep a little, just a little muscle. I mean, a one, one two-pound chain won't hurt the dog. Not at all. Won't hurt the dog. Not at all. He likes to walk, like I said. He's not that intelligent to where he'll walk directly on the side of you if this chain was off of him. Nah, he might bolt up out of here. He might. So you have to keep him, you know, with a, with a, with a harness on him, a little chain on him. You know, they might see a dog and go after him. You know what I mean? They forget that they're small dogs and think that they're big dogs and they go after them they love to walk and that's the reason uh that's the reason that i be uh chain breaking my other dogs is so that i can uh i could take them for walks because you know i like to walk i'm a walking person man you know i like to walk we own vehicles but we also like to walk Walking is good for you. Get that cardio up. A lot of people have just got lazy nowadays. You know, me and myself personally, I do like to walk. And when I walk, I like to walk. Come on. Come on. And when I walk, I do like to walk with my dog. And where we live at, if you don't have a chain on your dog, the police might say something to you about that. You know? You, ain't, you don't have control of your dog. Cops might say something about that. So I like to have control of my dog at all times. My big dog or my little dog. I like to have control of them. At all times. And I, I like the way he's built. You know, to where that underbite doesn't, doesn't come out on my dog. I couldn't have that underbite. That pug underbite on my dog. I couldn't have that. I couldn't have that. I wouldn't even want the dog. To be truthful. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. I wouldn't even want the dog. I would not want that dog. I want my dog to be... I want it to be proportioned the right way. You know? 
I want him to be ready, you know what I mean, to go with me whenever. I want him to be able to bite something if he has to bite something. And that's the reason why I like the miniature pincher uh, deer head chihuahua breed. You know, that's a nice breeding, as you can see. It's a nice breeding, brings about nice dogs, as you can see. Some of them aren't the brightest, but you know, you got other breeds that some of them just aren't the brightest too. Like I said, a whole lot of people will sit there and tell you, yeah, these dogs are so super smart. And they dog be just as dumb as hell, you know. I just happen to be one of the guys that'll tell you my dog is a little bit off, you know. He's a good dog, but he's a little bit off. Very much a little bit off. And uh, that's just what I wanted to say today was don't be too quick to breed to the pug, man. Let the pug breed with the pug. He has an underbite that I'm pretty sure you don't want. You don't want to incorporate that into your program. It's not something that was meant to be incorporated into your program. And trust me, it is not a good look. And until we meet again, <laughs> this is Man She Line. Come on, G, what are you doing? Man, everywhere we go, you want to pee on a bush. That's what I say.
Mai. My dog. This is why I have to chain break those other little ones. This is what I like doing. I like to go for a walk with my dogs, man. Just don't let them pee on everything. It's a Manchi line dog right here. Toy breeded dog. He's finely built. You can see it. <laughs> 